Hi guys, Nishant here. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about conditional statements in PHP. So, what is conditional statement? Conditional statement are used to perform different action based on different conditions. In PHP, we have four different conditional statements. First, if statement. Second, if else statement. Third, if else if else statement. And fourth is switch statement. So, let's take a practical example. So, first open Zem control pen and start Apache and MySQL as I did. Second, open your text reader. Here I am using Sublime Text. I have already saved two files, name, if, else, and switch. In this file, I am going to teach you three if statements. And in this file, I am going to teach you switch statement. So let's take a look. So first, we are going to write PHP opening and closing tag. So first we are going to do if statement and I'm using s to tag to let you guys have a better understanding. If statement. So what is if statement? So if statement executes a code if one condition is true. So let's take a look. I'm going to declare a variable, two variable actually, x and y. So value of x is 10 and the value of y is 15. I'm going to declare another variable total that will sum up the both of above variable. So x plus y semicolon now we are going to write if statement so this is the syntax of if statement here you're going to specify a condition so I'm going to specify my condition as dollar total greater than 20 so if dollar total is greater than 20 then here we have to write what will happen if it's greater than 20. So we are going to echo it. We are going to print it as dollar total is greater than 20 semicolon. So I'll save it, open web browser, localhost, folder name, folder name is tutorial, slash file name, file name is if else, so let's write it down, if else dot php, see, s to tag, if else, if statement, and 25 is greater than 20. That means the addition of x and y means dollar total is greater than 20 therefore it shows us 25 is greater than 20 next we are going to take a look at if else statement so echo again using h2 tags If else statement semicolon. So what is if else statement? If else statement executes a code if a condition is true and it executes another code if that condition is false. So let's take a look. So again declaring two variable x and y along with their values. So x is 10 and dollar y is 5 so again declaring variable total to sum them up semicolon so now we are going to write our if else statement so 
so this is the syntax of if else statement so here in the condition you have to specify a condition so i am going to do the same if total is greater than 20 we're just going to copy it so you'll see what will happen if total is greater than 20 then here we are going to specify what will happen so here we are going to print it using echo echo dollar total is greater then my mistake 20 as we did above but here we are going to add one more condition that is else statement so what we are going to do is we are going to print another thing echo dollar total is less than 20 semicolon and save the code so let's see what happens so open web browser and refresh it if statement 15 is less than 20 see what happens so the total of this two are 10 plus 5 is 15 which is less than 20 therefore it contains else statement therefore 15 is less than 20 therefore it chose the else statement so that, that is the difference between if statement and if else statement so now let's take a look at what is if else if else statement in php so for that we are going to write another h2 tag so echo h2 closing h2 bracket if else if else statement semicolon is important so what does it do it execute different code for more than two conditions so here we are going to write more than two condition we are going to specify more than two condition so let's do that so same here we are going to define three variables x y and total so let's just copy it So x and y but I'm going to change a little bit value of y so let's see here I'm going to declare y as value it's 2 and now we are going to specify our if else if statement so let's see this is if else statement but I'm going to change it a little bit So here we are going to specify if total is greater than 20 echo the same thing dollar total is greater than 20 semicolon else if dollar total is greater than 15 then echo dollar total sorry dollar total is greater than 15 semicolon there is one more condition that's elf that's sorry else so let's write it down else opening and closing brackets echo sorry dollar total is neither greater neither greater than 20 
nor 15. So what happens here is the summation of this two is compared to 20 and 15 both. So if it is greater than 20, then it will show dollar 20 is greater than 20. And if it's greater than 15, then it will show dollar total is greater than 15. But if it does not, if it does not fit both condition, it will show dollar total is neither greater than 20 nor 15. So let's just save it and refresh the web browser. So here the total is 12, but it is, it is neither greater than 20 nor 15. Therefore, it fits else condition. So here we have taken a look at if if statement, if else statement, and if else if else statement. So now let's take a look at what is switch statement. So for switch, let's just write PSP opening and closing tag. So first of all, PHP. So what is it? switch statement? Switch selects one of the many blocks of the code to be executed. So first we have a single expression n that is evaluated once the value of the expression is then compared with the value for each case in the string. If there is a match, the block of the code associated with that case is executed. We here use break to prevent the code from running into any further cases as automatically. The default statement is used if no match is found. So let's take a look at what does it specifies. So here I'm going to declare a variable called action. So let's see action, its value, I'm giving it as addition, semicolon. I'm going to print something is dollar action semicolon now i'm going to declare two variable x and y so let's do that x its value is 10 sorry 10 dollar y its value is 5 now we are going to write switch statement this is the syntax of switch statement. So here I'm going to specify my variable. My variable here is dollar action. In the case here is first addition. So let's write addition. Addition. Sorry. In this code, we are going to write what if this condition matches? So here I'm going to write echo dollar x plus dollar y semicolon break. Again, I'm going to copy this code because we are going to write here three different cases. So let's just first do that. So three different code, so one is for addition, second is for subtraction, I am going to change the sign to minus, third is for multiplication, and changing the sign, break, and default I am going to write sorry in default I'm going to write echo if no condition is matched then it goes to echo sorry then it goes to default your action is neither sorry spelling mistake it's neither addition nor subtraction nor multiplication 
semicolon and that should do it so let's save it let's see what happens so here localhost slash tutorial is our folder name and slash switch is our file name switch dot php oops there's a error on line 5 so let's take a look oh yeah instead of semicolon I just click colon so let's save it refreshing the page the addition is 15 so what happens here is action specifies which cases you want so if you want here subtraction you just have to write it subtraction here so let's take a look at what happens if we write subtraction so save it and then refresh the page subtraction is 15 so now let's take a look what happens if we write here multiplication save it and multiplication is 50 so whatever you write whatever you specify as a value of dollar action is the case that is selected so it depends really on the case what you select and it then gives you the result of the selected case so in this tutorial we studied about if statement three type of if statement and another was switch statement so in next tutorial i am going to teach you about loops like for loops and while loops so thank you for watching this tutorial thank you